Gary. Good morning, Brad. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday. A beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Beyonce, the beautiful wife of Jay-Z, mama of Blue Ivy and Cy and what are the other twin names, Serena? <laughs> Rumi and... Oh, Rumi and Cy, something like that. Yeah. Sir. Sir, yeah. Anyway, y'all, Beyonce, it's being announced y'all, that Beyonce and me be signing a $500 million Las Vegas residency. They're saying, y'all, oh, wow. it is the highest in history. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. make every dime of it, too. Yeah, but why? They, I mean, they paying her more than they paid Monique Hale. They paying her more than they paid Janet Jackson. I mean... <laughs> Because they're going to make that money back. I mean, everybody is going song. to go to Beyonce's show. Absolutely. R- really? Yes. Absolutely. You going to go, Gary. Child, please, honey. Uh-uh. I'm going to listen to her CD, honey. Because my thing is this, though, really. I like Beyonce. I love her music, and I love her dearly. But I just think that's a little bit much. And I feel it's being well, reported. You like something making it sound like you got to pay the 500 million. <laughs> <laughs> but Ricky, the deal is now they're saying that this may be the big deal now that she may be leaving Jay Z now. Oh, who said yeah, that? Yeah, said no, that. this who is what's being reported. This is no, because let me tell you something. Honey, it's been a little, you know, flag going on allegedly, <laughs> honey, in that household, and we ain't been hearing much about Beyonce and Jay Z lately. That's because so, they don't tell their personal business like that. Well, why tell they telling them, us this? They telling us this. We because don't need to know this. Does she doing a residency? Yeah. Yes, we do. She doing a residency in Vegas. People need to come out. Yes, yes. Yeah, they're well. selling tickets. Yes, we do need. How to How long know you that. think she's gonna do it, Brett? She probably do it for what, like six months. Oh, really? Six months. For a half a million, I think it's going to be a one- to two-year residency. No, billion. No, 500 million. 500 million. That's a half a billion dollars. It's going to at least be a couple years. You I, no. A couple of years. No, girl. You crazy. Oh, no, girl. No. She'll do that no. six months. Yeah. Either, about and, six or less. Months. About six oh, yeah. Months. yeah. 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 Charge $1,000 a ticket, and that venue probably yeah. seat about... 13000 She can fill that up every single time. Every yeah. single night. Two, three times a night. Yeah, she'll make that money. But what? I wonder how Jennifer oh. Lopez and all going to feel about that, though. I mean, Jennifer Lopez is a big feel star. They're going to feel no way about that. They're going to go, too. too. They're going to be back, trying to get backstage and with they, the rest of they us. They did theirs. People get their residencies there. Yeah, J-Lo's okay. show was good, Yeah, they got yes. it, but they didn't get the highest pay. Like, Beyonce, what makes Beyonce so special? Oh, she sells tickets. What do you mean? Well, hell, J-Lo sell tickets, too. I know, but Beyonce does a show. Like, Beyonce performs. It's a full show when you go to see her. It's worth it. Yeah. Just don't. It don't even make no sense. It's a show that people that do shows go to. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we see, honey, because, I mean, it just to me, it's just like it's not fair to these other people. You're still going around here seeing Diana Ross. And please. <laughs> Baby, Miss Ross turned out, honey. In the yeah. She don't put on no show like Beyonce, not even in her prime. Well, she don't, she don't compare to Beyonce. From, Be- um, from Ms. Ross. Oh, now let's Beyonce dance, sing, uh, uh, all that. Ms. Ross, really says, Ms. Ross extends her arms, and, that's all, and she flips her hair. <laughs> oh, and that's all she needs to do. No. Now, uh, honey, okay. let's be clear about that, honey. And Ms. Ross does wardrobe change. Ms. Beyonce. Yes, yeah, she does. Beyonce yeah, she does, does too. Yeah, she, does. she got it from Diana Ross. She ain't got it from okay. nobody. Ms. Diana Ross wasn't Ross. the first one to do the damn wardrobe change. Diana Ross was the first one to did her. She was not. She was not. The first person to do a wardrobe change. No, no she was not. Then. People came out before Diana Ross came out. Diana Gary. Ross was the damn first one to do wardrobe. She change. was no, not. Mahalia Jackson <laughs> changed clothes. Okay. Move it on, child. I'm not gonna sit here. Harriet Tubman changed clothes. Okay, Harriet, you better change. She had number one outfit when she was running through the damn underground, so she ain't changed no clothes. <laughs> but anyway, moving on, honey. They're saying y'all, baby, that Lottie Love, honey, um, from the co-host of the real. They said she raised her eyebrows, honey, with an oddly um, um, specific cryptic. Um, recently. Now, she put on it, y'all. In the end, everyone only cares about their own ass. That's what she put. That what? They say, honey, she said, in the end, everyone only cares about their own ass. And she, they said, now, is it contract negotiation time or something? Because everybody want to know what's really going on. What made Lani say that? So, was on her Instagram or yeah, Twitter? Yeah, her Instagram. Hmm. No, her Twitter. So, but it's very interesting, though, because, you know, Lani used to talk like that. And, you know, believe it or not, though, in the end, Everybody only cares about their own ass, so. So what do you think he's um, alluding to? Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Well, see, the problem is, Ricky, is when you start doing those subliminals online. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you mad about something in life and then you start putting up Instagrams right. and you venting, like, right. you, you got to chill out on that. Because people going to automatically put it to something that is probably not even exactly. You think it's got something to do with somebody on the cast of I, The Real? It may or may not. But when you put stuff out like that, people automatically assume it does. I mean, mm-hmm. it could have, it could, she could have ran into somebody at the grocery store. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't look out for you. never know what it is. But they going to blow it up. So you or can't she could be, be talking about somebody with ass injections, you know. Because <laughs> in the end, well. everybody care about their own ass. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, maybe the love of a, don- of a donkey. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> For the love of a donkey. <laughs> 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 Christmas clothes like Kahlua today, y'all, is roasted chestnuts. On the high end, you say roasted chestnuts, and on the low end, you say beautiful brown. That's your Kahlua for a day. Somebody In your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Okay, I can't sing. Wait.